Hey, welcome to Tarmac. Today we're at uh, the Art of Performance Tour for Jaguar and we're at Hampton Downs. There's going to be uh, lots of track driving, some driving education and uh, hopefully a lot of those noises. Come along, see how we got on. Left back to the opposite corner. Hard gas, brake hard, don't rush the gas because it'll push the car wide, just smoothly feed it on. Obviously, center cones out to the right. Now, braking tight left. That's it, good. Gas, dive on the opposite corner left. Hard gas, brake hard, tight left. Squeeze its throttle, full gas, it's a 90 degrees left. Squeeze its throttle, hard gas, slow back to the corner, center. Gas now, back to the right. I expect this is a finish. Yeah. Mm. Not sure about that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it yeah, sounded that, good, it sounded impressive. But uh, yeah, there was plenty of tyres, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're thing is it's fully electric. Yep. A few things. Um, vehicle preconditioning here simply means you set the time you want to depart and it's going to get everything ready by that time. So it's going to cool down the cabin, preheat the batteries, get everything ready for you to jump in, start it up and go. It does all of that whilst it's on charge so it doesn't affect the range when you start it up. It doesn't try and cool down the car when it's been out in the sun all afternoon charging. Okay. It does it all when you charge it up and um, yep. Yep, move on out. Next is um, regenerative brake in the My EV page. 46% um, battery left, 166 kilometers of range. This shows you where the battery is placed. So the battery is basically under our feet. Mm -hmm. The motor on the front axle, the motor on the rear axle both splitting the power 50-50, so the same size motors, 200, 200 PS in the front, 200 PS in the rear, 350 Nm of torque in the front and rear as well. So everything split 50-50, and you'll notice when we're off throttle, that those wheel lines and arrows under the throttle go green, yeah. that's when we're showing that we're doing a bit of regeneration. So it's recharging the batteries off throttle, reversing the current inside the motor. So we've got a low and a high setting, right now we're on low, so you have to do a lot of it braking by yourself. Yep. Whereas when we go to the high setting, a lot of the early phase of braking is already done for you. So instantly you'll notice straight away that there's a huge change in how much... The moment you take your foot off the yep, accelerator. How much it slows down. The 
most effective way to drive it is with it in high because it generates the most amount of charge whilst off rock and coasting. But it's for people that I mean it gets a little bit unnerving when you it's already breaking when you're yes so you can you have to drive for a way to drive with it. Yeah. And um, obviously if you do enough laps in it you're gonna get to the point where you can do it just all on regeneration. Yep. Yeah. Is that where you're up to? Yeah. <laughs> You find it, it feels really good, it feels really secure. Yeah, so although it's heavy and you hear a lot of tire noise, yeah. the center of gravity is very low because all the weight, the main weight is the batteries and it's as low as it can possibly get. Yeah. So it's the very bottom of the car and you hear so much tire noise because there's no other noise going on. Yeah, of course. There is, um, first time I've seen that, <laughs> um, there is no engine V8 masking the noise. We have got a little bit of a sound engineering going on. Oh, so you. So we've got this noise here, which isn't the loudest noise, but it's just to give you that extra sense of how fast we're going. Because a lot of people end up doing 160, 170, and it feels dead silent in here. So okay. no one really understands it, and then they use the high region. See that noise there? Gotcha. High on throttle, high speed is when it comes into its own that sound. Okay. Low speed doesn't really do much, it's high end speed just to give you that final sense of how fast we're doing. No, it's good, I, I, actually it's quite, it's quite reassuring to yeah. you going, okay, oh yeah. You're actually hearing something and giving you that sense of speed as well as... What does it sound like outside? Anything? There is no... That was another big big day jaguar you really laid it on can't wait for the next one make sure you subscribe hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching see you next time